devil's knocking at the back door Cause he always wants more, more, more You hear him coming by the Neither angel on the other side Hold my hand and show me right On my knees now when I pray I hope I'll live another day Cause What is up? How are you guys doing tonight? I wanted to uh, have like an intro track. So Brent gave me permission to play some Slow Knives. That was the Slow Knives off of the Keeping On EP with the song Down Here. Check them out on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere else. You ain't got shit else to do. What'd you guys do today? Zach, you made it. Hey, Aunt Kit. <laughs> there was my chance to play. I missed my opportunity to play Mask Off again, Amy. <laughs> Perfect evening radio. Welcome. Toddlers, I used to be cool. Yeah. Watch TV, fry shrimp. Ryan, that sounds incredible. Luke and Olivia are into hoes. My favorites. said we want Amy I've been talking to Amy all day about doing a song with me so we're gonna make that happen whether she likes it or not give the people what they want Kim said <laughs> you get creative control 
I'm getting creative directed from the other room already. Doesn't she know this is not how it goes? <laughs> Carmen said to play some Lizzo. <laughs> Only if I get to either background dance or background dance. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Is today Saturday? Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. If you have a drink, cheers. This is water. But it's real good. said don't forget the song I requested I did not forget the song that you requested at all I promise Ian what's up dude One of my favorite riffs of all time is that uh, not to be confused with the 311 riff. What was it? I think I'm actually in that music video. Deepak. Oh. <laughs> so, this is interesting to tune an entire step down. In Meriwether, we always tuned a half step down. Well, not always, but most of the time. Just thought it sounded like girthier. This is a whole step down, and I don't know or remember why this song is a whole step down, but we had like a version 1.0 of Meriwether, and then a version like 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, uh, like when Sam came, or Skip came, and then Sam came, uh, but then 1.2 was uh, my brother Bob played drums, Josie Menard, Brent Armstrong, and then Skip, and then when Skip rolled, it was Andrew Gautier. And then we did write and put out like a little EP, Save Our Souls. It's very like bounce poppy type rock for us. Um, but between that, uh, this was like around the time when um, like dubstep was becoming a big kind of thing for a minute there. Uh, we, uh, we had some buddies, Brent, who I played earlier at the very beginning from Slow Nice and Gabriel Saint. He's another really good friend of ours, um, who's produced some grinder stuff, some arrow stuff. Um, they had a DJ group called High Top Kicks. And we thought, you know, what would it sound like if we m mixed up rock and roll with kind of like the booming EDM sound at the time. So uh, we started a group called Discovery Core. Um, Meriwether Lewis of Lewis and Clark, I'm related to him, um, which is where that name comes from. The Core of Discovery was the group name, if you will, um, that Lewis and Clark traveled in. And so this idea of like, traversing new frontiers and things like that we thought we were like really cool but we had some good stuff there um we did south by southwest a couple times with that project um one south by southwest we played brent are you in here we played i think it was like um it was a specific program that you could map 
buttons and triggers that with Ableton Live onto an iPad. And so like the whole screen of your iPad was just buttons, but you can map sounds and chords and drums and stuff like that to those buttons. So we did um, we did South by one year. We probably did like four or five shows where every member of the band had an iPad. That's all we all played. And it was like facing the crowd and we were just like mashing buttons and jumping up and down and singing and stuff. What was that, Jay, Brent? What was the uh, was that a what was that program that we used to map out those buttons on the iPads? The Lemur app. I thought it was the Lemur app. You sick, authentic. Yeah, that was that was wild. But um, we had a couple of really cool tracks, and some of those tracks were well, one in particular that we played even after Discovery Core. Uh, we would play at Meriwether shows and stuff like that. Um, it's called Doctor Midnight. And I remember writing and recording this song in Gabe's old apartment, the old, old apartment. If you know, you know. And, uh, and then Brian Bate actually produced it for us. He was building a new studio. And so we traded, because we didn't have any money, we traded like painting and cleaning and sanding and stuff like that for like some studio time and he produced like i don't know if it was just that one track maybe it was like two or three do you remember brent anyways dr midnight still one of my favorite songs i think that i've ever been a part of writing with any group is that arizona ice tea <laughs> yes nailed it um <laughs> The recording of Dr. Midnight, I'm pretty sure is on the Bandcamp page. Um, I think there's a, still like a Discovery Core. Facebook, I found it actually to try and remember what the words were, I found it on YouTube. Um, and the recording is really cool, some of the production that Brian did. So I'm going to play Dr. Midnight tonight. I'm going to, Kelly. When you're not around, there is no sky to be gray at all. No rain for my eyes, ain't got no reason for living. I ain't got nothing at all Ain't got no reason for breathing No, I ain't got nothing at all When you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone When you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone When you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone Inside my dial, come right If you don't come on your want to survive can do it all so cry come on to me now angel I might die by sunrise sunrise Fly on to 
swimming now, angel. I might die by sunrise. By sunrise. By sunrise. This is how I feel. 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 Sunrise. If you don't come on, and I need your world to survive, can't do it alone. So fly, fly on to me now, angel. I might die by sunrise, by sunrise, by sunrise. Thank you. That was Dr. Midnight. It's on SoundCloud, Brent said. Right on. Daisy, what did you think? Brilliant? Unbelievable? Killer talent? She knows what's up. Visionary. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I don't want to like, uh, do a ton of material. I'd like to like, kind of be able to talk about a song or two each night and be able to do this every night for like 20, 30 minutes at like eight o'clock, something I can maybe, you know, keep up with. So, um, I've, I've had a couple of people ask me to do a couple of different songs. Um, Cody McCarty told me he wanted Dr. Midnight, so what Cody wants, Cody gets. Um, I think tomorrow night I'm going to do Paper Airplane Machines. I've had a couple of people ask me about that one. Um, <laughs> Michael Scott, Sunrise, you barely made it to play. No, we're not going to talk about that one. This is, uh, maybe it is a true story. You want to come over <laughs> Sasquatch beautiful beautiful man Ashley thank you so yeah I thought the other thing I could maybe do um, is maybe give you guys a quick like little peek at uh, some of the new Andy Ford stuff what do you guys think about that you be down for that a cooking show putting to sleep a lion Denise you'll have to come sing that because I cannot sing that there's no way fire and flowers ah fire and flowers I'm gonna have to remember how to do that one anyways I want to play you guys like the first verse pre-chorus chorus of a of a track off uh, the new Andy Ford EP I've got like roughs so far um, I probably shouldn't be playing this stuff and I'm like super excited about it and I figured like this is probably a better opportunity than any to like 
Otherwise, I'd overthink it. It would take like five months to come out, and I still plan on like finishing it up and getting it, you know, ready and releasing a first single and doing it all like the right way. But, uh, you know, I think I can do this too. Bert might get fussy with me about it, but I don't think it's like make or break, right? So, um, this is a solo project I've been working on for quite some time and writing a lot of material here and there. Really didn't know what I wanted it to sound like, so I put together this big playlist of just things that have been inspiring me over the last couple of years, and it's all over the place. Um, but somehow, some way, I think that all of that is is represented within the the material so far. Um, this is uh, just play a little bit off of a track called "We've Got a Lot to Learn." Um, did this in Austin with the Thomas Bros, the Bros Fresh and Thomas Anabain, all three geniuses. Um, Thomas Anabain is just an incredible producer. Like that dude could craft a sound out of something that you couldn't even think could be turned into a sound. You know, it's just, it's insane. But anyways, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it very well. Don't really care because it's not the greatest quality that it should be yet, but I do want you guys to maybe hear it if you can. It's bound to be a way for me and you to get together. It's bound to be a way for me and you. Now I'll be gone someday. So And that's all you're going to get. <laughs> I think I'm going to kind of play some of these little bits and pieces uh, every other couple of nights or so. Um, but yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Hopefully I can uh, be offering some sort of, you know, break in the monotony of said quarantine. I don't have a link up for donations. I don't want donations. If you have, you know, if you want to donate to somebody, donate to those guys um, who play music every night for a living, you know, use it to order from a local restaurant. Um, there's lots of really great, you know, websites that you can donate to, to help. Um, I talked about last night, music cares is one that's near and dear to my heart. Um, they're part of the Grammy foundation and they do huge thing, huge things to help out musicians in need, whether it's financial assistance, um, addiction recovery, things like that. Um, Josh, hold on. Where's my phone? Squatch, hold on. I got to call Barb first. So I don't know if you guys know this, but um, you can tell people that you have a friend named Laser. And when they don't believe you, all you do is you call Josh Barbier. And you do this. That's not right. Yeah, it is. Pew! <laughs> pew, pew! You're an asshole. <laughs> uh, Barb, Major Laser, pew, pew. Anyways, I will, uh, I'll be back on tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, same time. Um, probably maybe do some paper airplane machines, something like that, uh, unless I decide otherwise. So thanks again. Have a good rest of your Saturday evening.
Cheers. Goodbye from all of my favorite ladies and myself. Night.